Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. I am guest designing for Scrapping for Less using their September Flavor of the Month card kit. The theme is Happy Fall, y'all. I love making autumn cards, so this kit is just perfect for me. Let me show you everything that's included in the kit. So first it comes in this adorable bag with these little bees and sunflowers. Isn't that pretty? And there are eight sheets of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So there's tangy orange, jelly bean green, black licorice, lemon drop, hot fudge. This is really dark brown. Whipped cream, which is kind of a really pale ivory. And then two pieces of the white cardstock. This is Nina 110 pound smooth white. And we'll start with collection number one. So this is what's included in the double dip Sunday. The paper from collection one is by Scrapping for Less. It's called Let's Talk Bees. So there are these beautiful yellow and gray and black pieces. So this one has little bees and little hearts on it. Little yellow chevrons, some polka dots. This is just a plain gray. Another chevron and then the little honeycomb. And this paper is really smooth. It's a nice thick paper. And then it is double sided. So there's some black with the honeycombs, some black and white chevron, some nice stripes, some polka dots, another the chevron, and then this is a tone on tone black chevron. And then the stamp set is from Lala Land Crafts, and this was made exclusively for Scrapping for Less. This darling little girl dressed up as a bee. There are a few pieces of ephemera, and these are also made by Scrapping for Less. So a cute little bee image, two sentiments, cute as can be, and be happy. And then a really pretty sequin pack. So this just goes beautifully with this collection. And there's also a package of the little beads, the little seed beads. And then every collection comes with one envelope. So that is collection number one. And collection number two. The paper is Fall Breeze and this is by Photoplay. So with every mini collection, you'll get six pieces of the six by six paper. And so yours might be a little different than what I receive in the kit, but I will show you what I received. So there's just a plain dark brown and then some cool little like wood like tree slices, some nice sentiments, little image, really pretty plaid, some polka dots, it's a little floral design on there with like a sort of orangish red, some more little cut aparts with some images. And that's real pretty with the fall leaves and then little autumn trees, little fox, little raccoon. And then just a tone on tone, it's real light. There's some um, pumpkins and like, little leaves and a few more of the cut aparts and then a uh, tone on tone polka dot and orange. And then another stamp, this sweet little girl, this is another La La Land Crafts made exclusively for Scrapping for Less. So she's dressed up like a scarecrow and she has a little crow on her and then the sentiment is, hey there. And there are a few little scarecrow punch outs. So these are the three that I received. Some twine, it's a craft color. And then the fun little sequin mix. And then an envelope. So that is collection number two. 
And now we're on to collection number three. So this is the Stay a While collection from Bow Bunny. So this is a single sided. So nice stripes. Got a little different color tone than the normal autumn. It's really pretty with this sort of deep purple and the blue. A little tone on tone design. Fun with a little coffee and teacups. Blue with a little circle and some stars in the middle. A green brick wall. And then just kind of a circle pattern all over. It's really pretty. And the stamp set is an exclusive by Scrapping for Less. And this one is called Teresa Talks Fall. So it's got some fun fall sentiments. And then the girl with her pumpkin spice latte or maybe a hot tea, depending on your preference. And then the same thing, the little hot drink with the pumpkin, little acorns. And then there are a few craft colored round tags. And then a few flowers. So this match really nicely with the collection. And then the lovely sequin mix. It's kind of a dark pinkish purple color. And of course the envelope. So that is collection number three. And then collection number four. Careful on this one, it's got some really tiny pieces. We'll start with the paper. This is by Prima, it's called Amber Moon. So these are double sided. Has a lot of really fun like fall sentiments, autumn sentiments, just little tiny cut aparts. And then a nice polka dot design on the back. Some nice little borders. A little flowers and pumpkin, little butterflies. It's like really soft, soft color, soft design. So some more pumpkins and butterflies. Almost like a watercolor look. And some more of the cut aparts. The like a wood floor look. Kind of like different little tags on there. Large, kind of really light orange polka dots. And then the stripes. And another sentiments, or another stamp set from Scrapping for Less, and this is called Give a Hoot. So it's a really cute owl, a little tree, and there's a little small owl. And lots of fun sentiments to go with it and some flowers. And I love this sequin mix that comes in there. There's these little tiny gold leaves in there. Really pretty. And then there are a couple of feather charms. Little metal charms. And really fun there is like three sets of little tiny googly eyes. And then of course, another envelope. So that is everything that you will receive if you order the Double Dip Sunday. And if you wanna go up one level and get the banana split, you'll get this additional package. So this one includes a little stamp set from Alt New. It says grateful and then it has an acorn and then the little acorn top. There are three sheets. This is distressed watercolor sheets from Tim Holtz. And then it also has one of the distressed crayons and I received the wild honey color. I've never used this before, so that'll be fun to play with. And then one last thing, there is a word die from Spellbinders. And the one I received says thankful. So this is what you'll receive if you do go one level up and get the banana split collection. So now I'm gonna start with card number one. 
I'm using a sketch from Freshly Made Sketches, number 34. So every month, Scrapping for Less always provides four different card sketches for inspiration, and those can be found on their website to download. The only sketch that provides measurements is the Operation Write Home sketch. For all the others, I figured out measurements for A2 size cards, and I have provided all of those measurements on my coordinating blog post. So for my first card, I'm using collection number one, which the paper is exclusive from Scrapping for Less. I used the yellow cardstock for the background and three different pattern designs for the rest of the card. And to kind of separate the busyness of the patterns, I layer everything with some black cardstock. I already went ahead and stamped and colored this sweet little bumblebee girl from La La Land Stamps. And then I put her on a circle die cut instead of having the full image and then just die cut out a little scallop circle to go around her. Kind of looks like a flower since she's a little bee. And then I stamped the little sentiment that comes with the set that says cute as can be and just made a little banner to put in the bottom corner of the card. And then I've gone ahead and put some foam dimension to just pop that little girl image up. And then just a finishing touch, I'm going to add some of the sequins. Just a different variety. A little few black ones are going up in the top corner and then a few yellow. And I just use Ranger's Multimedia Matte Adhesive to hold those sequins in place. And that is card number one. For card number two, I'm using the sketch from Simply Stampin' Challenge. I've never actually used their sketches before, but this one looks like a lot of fun. So once again, I've already figured out the measurements for A2 size card. And the paper is from the collection number one again. This is the Scrapping for Less paper. So I use this tone on tone yellow chevron for the background and then the black honeycomb for that rectangular element. And I just love this pattern paper with the little bees and the, the little beehive. So I decided I'm gonna use it for the back of a shaker card. So I cut out this black frame just using a stitch frame die and then I'm building the shaker component now and I just I want to make sure that that foam dimensional tape isn't too wide because I don't want it showing through from the frame so as I build up this little shaker window I just keep making sure that the foam tape isn't sticking out too far and then there aren't any little gaps because I don't want any of the sequins to actually slip out of the shaker. So then once I have that first level built, I can go ahead and remove the backing and then put one more layer of all that foam dimensional tape. Because you want to make sure to get it thick enough so that your shaker sequins and everything can actually move around inside the little window. I rarely ever made shaker cards before, but after using all of these fun monthly kits, I've been making a lot more of them and really enjoying it. So now that I have that foam tape window built up, I'm just going to wipe the inside of it with some anti-static powder, pull off the backer, and then I have my acetate already cut out. And for this shaker card, I added the seed beads that come in the kit along with just a little bit of the fun sequin pack. And then I'm just putting that acetate right on top, trying to seal it all in. And then I'll add some ATG tape to the back of that window and just adhere that right on top. So now I have my little shaker component all completed. And I'll just put that card front onto a white card base. I used a piece of the Scrapping for Less ephemera and used a circle die to just cut it a little bit smaller so that I could cut the frame, that yellow cardstock, the right width around it. And then I'm just putting that on the lower corner of the little shaker component. And then just one final touch, I'm gonna add a few more of those sequins. And I used the black ones in place of those small circle elements that are on the sketch. And I was trying to figure out which size to use. I was trying to get all three of the large ones, but it didn't quite fit. So I just did two large and then a smaller one in between. And so that is card number two.
For card number three, I'm using Operation Write Home Sketch number 243. Now all of Operation Write Home Sketches already have the measurements on them, so it makes that really easy to use. I'm still using collection number one, and I use that yellow chevron paper for the background again. And since so many of these patterns are really busy, to sort of tone that down for that middle rectangular piece, I use the back side of one of the pattern papers that just has a solid gray, and that just kind of mutes down all the busy patterns. I chose another piece of the little ephemera that comes in the pack, and I did use another circle die and cut it just a little bit smaller, and then also cut this little scallop circle to go around it. And then I just added a few more sequins, a couple of them along the top and then a few along the bottom just to finish off the card. I love all the different sequin packs that come in the kit. So that is card number three. For card number four, I'm using the Freshly Made Sketches number 34 again. So this card is with collection number two, which is the Fall Breeze Collection by Photoplay. I used the whipped cream cardstock for the background and then it cut a variety of different patterns for the rest of the card. And I tried to use like a busy pattern and then a little bit of a tone on tone with the little polka dots and then layered all of it with some brown cardstock. The extra cardstock always adds some nice contrast and helps just tone down all those busy patterns. Now for that circle element, instead I'm using one of the cut aparts that came with the collection too. And it has this really fun sentiment, you are never too old to play in the leaves. My kids definitely feel that way. They would much rather play in the leaves rather than rake them all up. We have a huge maple tree in our backyard and it makes quite a mess every fall. So now that I've got most of the cart assembled, I'm going to add some sequins, just a few in this upper left hand corner, and then I pulled out these really pretty gold sequin leaves that come in collection four, and I'm just sprinkling them around the sentiment, even in that bottom part with the little pile of leaves, just to add some nice shine to it. And with the gold leaves kind of framing that sentiment, it just reminds me of someone jumping in the leaves and all of the leaves flying and floating in the air. So once I get all of those attached, I'm just gonna add one final touch. I'm just cutting a small little banner just to put in that upper right hand corner, just using some of the brown cardstock. And that is card number four. For card number five, I used the card sketch from Simply Stampin' Challenge again. And the paper is the Fall Breeze from Photo Play, which is the collection number two. I chose to use the polka dot paper for the background and then this diagonal striped paper for this narrow strip going down the side. And then some more of that orange polka dot paper. And collection number two includes a few scarecrow punch outs. So I'm using one of them framed on some oval die cuts. Even though I use this orange to layer the rest of the card, I like how that brown for the scalloped oval really makes that, that image just pop out. The sentiment hey there is part of the exclusive stamp set from La La Land. And so I went ahead and stamped that on the whipped cream cardstock and then layered it also with the brown to just tie in with that image. And I'm just popping that scarecrow up on some foam dimension. The sequin pack in collection number two has these fun little silver stars. So I'm just going ahead and adding a few of those in that upper left hand corner and then just a couple of them down by the sentiment. And that is card number five. For card number six, I decided to try out this Distress Crayon. I received the Wild Honey color. So I just scribbled some of it onto a craft mat and added a whole bunch of water and then just did sort of a washy watercolor background, some watercolor paper. 
And then I decided it needed a little bit of shine, so I used some gold shimmer spray and just spritzed that all over the background. The little girl image is from La La Land Stamps, and so I went ahead and stamped and colored her out. And now I'm just doing a real quick fussy cut, just leaving that really thin white border around her. Isn't she a sweet little girl? She's got a little crow sitting on her arm. So since this is watercolor paper, I do add a lot of extra adhesive just to make sure it stays onto that cardstock. So then I took a piece of the twine that comes in the collection and just wrapped two strands of it around the front of the card. And I'm adhering it to the back to make sure it doesn't move just with a little piece of score tape. So with that little piece of twine left, I just tie a little knot. I didn't have quite enough to make a bow. And then the kit comes with these little metal charms that look like feathers. And I just went and tied those right where I have that knot using that twine. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the little girl onto the card. And I wanna make sure that that twine doesn't move because those charms are a little bit heavy and they'll sort of pull that twine down. So I used a few pieces of the foam dimensional tape and I just put them right next to the twine. Just kind of centered the twine in between so it's not going to move anywhere. And then it also pops that little girl up just a little bit. So now I'm going to add my sentiment and I want to make sure I stamp it really nicely. So I just put the whole card into my mini Misty and I'm using the Hey There sentiment again. And this way I can just ink it up several times and make sure I get a nice solid impression on there. And now I'm going to put that whole card front onto a card base. So then just another finishing touch, I'm going to add some of the sequins. And my glue kind of blooped out on me a little bit there, but no big deal, just wiped it up. So I'm just using this really kind of goldish yellow color sequin and it matches the Distress Crayon background perfectly. And then all together with that gold shimmer spray, it just has a really lovely shine. So that is card number six. Now on to card number seven. I used the sketch from Operation Ride Home number 243 again. And the paper is from the mini collection number three. This is the Stay A While collection from Bow Bunny. For the background of the card, I'm using this really muted purple tone-on-tone -tone paper, and I did add some cardstock from my stash, just because it matched perfectly with that background paper. And the sentiment is one of the Scrapping for Less stamp sets. It says, Happy Fall, y'all. So I went ahead and stamped that on the whipped cream cardstock. And then I'm using some Versamark ink because I'm gonna go ahead and emboss it in some gold embossing powder. I did use some of that anti-static powder before embossing just to avoid any little stray embossing powders anywhere. And then I'm just using my heat gun to get this really lovely gold sentiment. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that onto some orange cardstock. And for that little stripe on the side, I just used a scrap of blue cardstock from my stash. And then I'm putting that whole card front onto a card base. And I'm gonna pop that sentiment square up with some foam dimensional tape. And then just that one finishing touch, I'm just putting some of the sequins that match just beautifully with this paper collection. And that is card number seven. For card number eight, I'm using a sketch from Viva La Verve. Hope I'm saying that correctly. It is their May 2013 sketch. The paper is from the mini collection number three again. This is the paper by Bo Bunny. I just love the colors in this paper collection and I think my favorite pattern is this one with the little teacups or coffee mugs 
It has the little flowers and little snowflakes all around it. So again, I did add this blue cardstock for the layering. This is from my own paper stash. Just because I use so much paper for layering, I do tend to add a little bit extra. So I'm just gonna stamp the sentiment, Happy Pumpkin Spice Season. And this is included in the Scrapping for Less stamp set with collection number three. And I know out here in Washington State, pumpkin spice lattes are a really big thing. Now, I personally don't drink coffee, so I don't enjoy them, but I have plenty of friends that get excited when the coffee starts to show up with pumpkin in it. I stamped this little flower from collection number four. It's the stamp set Give a Hoot. It has a couple of really pretty flowers, and I liked it because it matched well with that pattern paper. So I just colored it real simple to match the rest of the papers. And then I'm using some more of those little star sequins, just kind of sprinkling them around the sentiment. So that is card number eight. So now we are on to card number nine. So once again, I'm going to use the freshly made sketches number 34. I actually really like this sketch and I've used it numerous times in previous videos before. So the paper is from the mini collection number four. This is the Amber Moon by Prima. So I just use a piece of craft cardstock for the background and then cut out this polka dot. It's like a black background with orange polka dots and then some diagonal stripes for the two pattern pieces and then just a little piece of orange for that bottom. And I decided I'm going to make another shaker card. So I cut out this frame in black, this little half circle, but it didn't really stand out very well against that black piece I had across the middle of the card. So I added just a little piece of some gold foil washi tape that I have. And then for the background of the shaker, this is also in this Prima collection, it sort of has a, a bluish purple watercolor background. So for this shaker card, I'm actually going to build it a little backward compared to the one I did previously. So first I'm going to do the window. And so I'm just putting this really thin score tape around, around that black frame and then I'm putting my piece of acetate on there. And then I'm going to start building up the, the foam dimensional tape directly on the frame rather than on my card this time. And the reason I'm doing it the opposite direction is I just find it a little easier to line up like that half circle from the frame onto the card. So I got my first layer of that foam dimensional tape down and I have to cut these really small pieces because it doesn't curve, but I still wanna make sure that they're all touching so there's no little gaps. I don't want any of my sequins to sneak out through the side. And I'm gonna do my two layers and then just add in any little pieces if there's any gaps. So now that I have that foam dimensional frame all built up, I can go ahead and remove all of the backers. So then this time I'm actually dumping the sequence right onto the card front. And then I'll line up that frame right on top of it. So now that the shaker component is all built, I went ahead and cut out this thankful word die cut. And this is included if you purchase the banana split level. And I just use some liquid glue to adhere that to the bottom of the card. And then I really love these star sequins that come in the kit. So I'm gonna add some more of them to this card just sprinkling a couple of them in the upper corner and then one little star by the thankful word. And that is card number nine. So now I'm on to card number 10. I'm using Operation Write Home Sketch number 243 again. And the paper is from the collection number four. This is the Amber Moon by Prima. For the background, I chose this soft wood panel paper and then also this polka dot, it's kind of larger soft orange polka dot paper. 
And the little tree with the leaves is from the Scrapping for Less stamp set, Give a Hoot. So I went ahead and stamped and colored it along with this sweet little owl. And now I'm just gonna fussy cut that little owl out. And this time I'm not leaving any of the border, so I'm just going right up to the edge of the, the stamp line. And then just because I don't want any of the white, where it's actually the, the whipped cream color showing, I just took a black marker and just inked around the edge of it. And then I just put a little bit of liquid adhesive and I'm just putting that little owl just sitting in the tree there. And the stamp set has all these fun little owl themed sentiments. So I'm just using the one that says, you're a hoot. And I wanna make sure to get a good stamped impression. So I did use my mini Misty although I only had to ink it once. So I'm just gonna put that card front onto a card base. And the kit comes with a few sets of googly eyes. So I decided to add those to the owl just to give it a, a sort of fun look. And then instead of that little panel on the right hand side, I'm just adding a few little sequins. So that is card number 10. Here is a quick recap of all 10 cards I made using the September Flavor of the Month card kit. It was so fun to use, especially since fall cards are my favorite to make. If you are interested in purchasing the kit, I have provided links in the description. The monthly kits do sell out quickly, so don't delay if you really want one. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.